What are you guys doing? Are you guys laying on the warm floor? So it is very, very cold out today. The high was only 38 degrees. And what we have noticed here in our new sanctuary is that a lot of the cats, the majority of the cats have decided to come inside, which is pretty cool because when we were in the old sanctuary, a ton of cats always stayed out in the catio. And so we are totally noticing a difference in this new sanctuary where they actually feel comfortable enough to come in. So this is pretty cool. So if you're new here, we've, we do have heated floors. We do have them turned on. Becky is making more soup because they ate all the soup that we made earlier. So Becky actually had to come in and make four pictures of soup. So the air temperature is 73 and the floor is set at 73. Um, and 73 kind of it sounds um, warm, but I don't know that it really is 73. I think maybe I'll get a thermometer <clears throat> Um, so we can see what it really feels like. It feels really perfect in here. Um, but I do not believe it's 73 degrees. But nonetheless, look at the cats. <clears throat> they are liking this floor. Isn't that so cool? Uh, hi, everybody. Thank you for hopping on and watching the YouTube. We're trying to get better at YouTube. So I did put a blanket underneath the table for Bella, but the cats seem to like it too. So we are noticing a lot more cats out. Look at, there's Melissa, she's a Siamese. I don't see her a lot. So somebody asked if Desmond comes in for the winter. Desmond is allowed to be a kitchen cat. And that was one thing that we have changed. <clears throat> we originally weren't gonna have any cats in the kitchen, but our cats are spoiled and they twisted our arms. We are now in the winter time allowing the cats to come into the ki kitchen. We've got a litter box, food and water. So the friendly pea cats, or like Desmond, he's not a pea cat, but he's a feisty cat. He is allowed to stay in the kitchen overnight. And if he wants to go outside, he can. Um, so it would be Desmond, Lisette, Marley, Colleen, Kevin, Oreo. <clears throat> Trying to think if there's any, any others that want to come in. Kennedy. So those seven could actually sleep in the kitchen if they want, or they can sleep in the feral area. I'll walk back here um, so you can see what our feral area looks like. It's starting to get dark. Look at all these cats though. Isn't that crazy how they're all inside because it's um, cold outside? Wow. So I'll try to, you know what? I'm gonna bother these guys. So there's Jackson. Jackson is usually outside too, and he's, he's the tabby with the white. Well, I'm gonna see if I can go out to the feral area and show you. So our feral area is heated. The floors are heated. So there's gonna be a lot more ferals in here. Oh yeah, I forgot about Corona. Roni Coroni's in here. Okay, there's feral cats in here. Okay, Ash is another one. Oops, look at the feral cats leaving. I am so sorry. So three feral cats just um, left. So like Corona's allowed to be a kitchen cat if she wants. Marley, uh, Ash, I don't see Ash. Hi Phoebe, Phoebe. And actually Phoebe right here, I want to get her inside the sanctuary. Hi Phoebe. So I see some feral cats over there. <clears throat> So the pea cats are welcome to come into the kitchen and stay overnight. They also are welcome to come into the sanctuary if they, if they want. The only one we really don't want in the sanctuary would be um, Marley because he doesn't really like a lot of cats and he'll, he'll be mean to some of our ferals. So I think we're going to wrap the catio. Somebody just asked, when do we plan on wrapping the catio? Um, it'll be wrapped when we know we're going to get snow. Uh, generally, we wrap it in November, so I'm um, not quite sure when we're going to wrap it. I maybe, uh, maybe Sunday. 
I'm heading to Florida for a few weeks and so or I'll hire somebody to come and wrap it I wrapped it last year my son and I wrapped it last year so but we do want to wrap it so that we don't get a lot of snow inside the catio oh thank you Celia I like that name hope I said it right so I'll show you how many cats are out in the catio oh I almost tripped on one all right and we'll see what the temp is out on the catio All right, it is cold outside, just FYI. Hi guys, Burr. It is cold out. So you'll see a lot of empty beds or you'll see a lot of cats that are cuddling together. First, I'm gonna check out the temp here. Hi, Emily. All right, so it's it's like 35, 34 degrees maybe. So it is chilly out here. We are going to have to take that water fountain in tonight. Uh, we did order some heated bowls so that we can always have water out here. We probably won't have soup out here. Uh, remember, we're just we're navigating as we go. We're learning as we go um, in the old sanctuary we did not have food or water and mainly it was because it was hard for humans to get access to the catio we had to go all the way around the building and especially in the winter time it sucked because we had to walk through feet of snow so look at nobody's on these beds but the cats that are out here are cuddling that's so cute oh so the cat inside was not jackson this is jackson or that one was Jackson and this is Frankie. I'm getting my tabbies mixed up. And then there's a cuddle puddle up top there. I want the lights on. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm plugging the lights in. There. Okay. What's going on guys so we'll see if will is inside or is he outside well there's a cat that's like plain spider-man over there oh that's sheldon <laughs> these cats are frisky are you guys having fun out here jada there's jada are you guys having fun <laughs> i love watching them be frisky So it's about 34 degrees outside right now. Drake, are you feeling frisky? That black cat is Drake. Look at that cat go running. That's, I think that's Sheldon. That's Rudy. And Brandy is rubbing up against me. Patchy, are you feeling frisky? So I was kind of looking for Will. Will must be inside. I'm looking. I'm looking for him, guys. Hi, Brand Hi, Brandy. Oh, Brandy is so nice. Where's Will? Oh, there's Will. Hi, Will. Are you going to come inside for Becky? Are you going to come inside for Becky? Will has had lots of churu today you should come inside it's much warmer you really should come inside so if these cats are cold they will come inside okay so i'm gonna go inside because i am cold i don't have a fur coat like they do <clears throat> if you want to go outside you have to use the cat door so here we are inside. It's nice and toasty warm. Um, I'll show you our isolation rooms and then I'm gonna 
end it. Uh, cats got their squirrels, squirrel, uh, squirrels on today. All right, there's Elmer. Hi, Elmer. All right, so I'll show you Sean. Sean sat in my lap for a good half hour. He is the nicest cat ever. And if Sean's cold is gone by Monday, he will be neutered. Hi, Todd. And there's Sean down here. Hi, Sean. He is such a snuggle bug. Such a snuggle bug. His cold is getting way better. Why, oh, hi, Emily. These cats want to come in here so bad and eat kitten food. All right, come on, guys. All right, I'm going to lock you in there. Let's see how they like it when I lock them in. <clears throat> They're like, no. Come on, you guys. <clears throat> come on. Todd, do you want to come out? Come on, Boris, you're, you're fat. You don't need to have kitten food. Todd didn't like people in his room. And just so you know, if Todd wanted out, we would let him out. Then we've got the kittens in here. So it looks like Nordy is eating. And then we've got Cam on the left and Gavin on the right. And we have Ian. Ian has buttons on his face to hold his jaw in his mouth closed to keep his jaw in place. And Ian has, has a full belly. He ate a ton of canned food and churu today. Hi, Ian. It looks like somebody's on the pet cube. Hello. You can log into the pet cube, it's free. Um, you create your own pet cube account. Um, and then you search for Furball Farm, it's one word, and then you can log in and play laser tag. I wonder if it's stuck, I think I'm gonna reboot it. Um, you can talk to the cats even. I'm just gonna reboot it. So Ian was a hit by car, and he's had lots of um, vet care. He was at two blue pearls. He is our $11,500 cat right now. Um, but he is going to make a wonderful recovery. So he has an appointment in two weeks, and hopefully the buttons can be taken out, and then he can open up his mouth like a normal cat. But he is certainly adjusting to life well with us. Yes, you are. Yeah, such a sweet boy. Um, and then we got a new cat in. Somebody was live trapping a possum and they ended up live trapping this cat. And so we are calling him Carter. He is an orange tabby. He is not your typical feral. Um, I think he's just probably just a stray. He's very healthy, so he did have a feeder. On um, Friday will be day five of holding him, and so we will get him fully vetted and check for a chip. I was not able to check for a chip. He is. Um, I wouldn't, right now he's not handleable because he hisses and growls, but he does make eye contact and I was able to touch him through the cage and he didn't try biting or anything. So who knows, maybe in a couple days, you know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be able to check for a chip. Um, he does have jowls, so my feelings are that he is probably an intact male. I'm sure in the morning when we walk in here, we'll smell it. Um, when you don't neuter male cats, their urine is quite strong. So so Ian is, as you can see, he's on some some good um, pain meds. He's actually on gabapentin right now. Um, so we're weaning him off of the buprenorphine, which is a narcotic, and we don't really want him to be on it too long because, number one, it can constipate them, and number two, I worry about him getting addicted to it, and I know it sounds silly, but it is a worry of mine. Um, one of my family members um, is a heroin addict, and we've been battling it for 11 years, and my family member is doing phenomenal. 
one year sober in December. Whoop, whoop. So, oh. sometimes I have diarrhea of the mouth, don't I? You probably didn't need to know that, but just a little tidbit about me and what goes on in my personal life. All right, let's go out to the Pussycats, to our amazing sanctuary that's been great therapy for me and for many others, taking care of these formerly unwanted nuisance. Some of them were treated like rodents, and we took them in and fully vetted them, and we fully love them. Even though we can't touch most of them, we can love them from afar, pet them with our eyes, Yeah, I'm so thankful. It's been 10 years of, ugh. There's Billy, there's Carson. Hi, Carson. And there's Billy. Who's meowing at me? Well, hi, Thunder. Are you gonna let me touch you? Isn't that cool? He's meowing at me like he wants me to pet him, but he won't let me. Hey, you wanna sniff my hand? I heard that. Somebody's fighting over toys. All right. There's two, two crazy cat ladies right there. So there you have it. A lot of cats are inside because it's cold. So it'll make, it, it'll make for good um, Facebook Live tonight. Becky will be going live on Facebook tonight. So please tune in because we get paid for ads that are inserted in our lives and that is truly how we can afford to take care of these cats. You know, you can tell we've got over 350 cats, a lot of mouths to feed, a lot of poop to scoop. I feel like somebody's always in a litter box at one point or another. So please, um, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, share us and help us Support these cats just merely by following us on all social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Becky will be live on Facebook probably 8 o'clock or so. Thanks. Bye.